Pluto made them come. From the outset, it was like it was never actually a section of the close-by planetary social gatherings or the planetary moderate structure. Pluto's circle crosses that of another planet, and that is no sort of direct for a planet. Pluto, the stupefying, smaller dwarf planet at the edge of our planetary group, is creating an upheaval in the vast area. Late reports suggest an impending collision with Neptune, igniting concerns among investigators and space enthusiasts alike. Respected specialists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have raised alarms about the potential consequences of this cosmic conflict. But how did Pluto find itself on a crowded course with its distant neighbor? Additionally, how could this ranting mishap potentially affect our world on Earth? Join us as we delve into the disturbing scenario developing between Pluto and Neptune. Pluto, once regarded as a significant planet, was subsequently reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its unusual orbit. Nevertheless, this change hasn't prevented it from continuing to captivate and intrigue the astronomical community. Recent insights from renowned scientists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have highlighted a troubling proximity between Pluto's orbit and that of Neptune. These experts are warning about a potential collision between the two planets, posing a critical threat to Earth. The peculiarity of Pluto's orbit around the Sun lies in its unique characteristics within our planetary group. Its orbit spans 248.5 years, meaning Pluto has not completed a full revolution around the Sun since its discovery. Adding to its allure is the highly elliptical nature of its orbit, a departure from the nearly circular paths of the major planets. Additionally, Pluto's orbit is marked by a 17-degree tilt to the ecliptic plane, making its path more extreme compared to other planets. This combination of tilt and eccentricity adds layers of complexity to Pluto's orbital configuration. An intriguing aspect of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path. For approximately 20 years in each orbit, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging assumptions based on their respective positions in the solar system. This raises the question, why hasn't a collision between Pluto and Neptune occurred? The answer lies in the gravitational influences exerted by various planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery, presenting an intriguing puzzle for astronomers. Unlike most planets whose orbits align relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's unique features include a steep tilt and an irregular shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's path. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities serves as evidence of the intricacies inherent in space mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves understanding the movement and gravitational interactions among three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. It is akin to predicting their paths based on initial positions and shared gravitational effects. In Pluto's case, this issue explains the complex relationship between its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravitational pull. Terms like asymmetric libration, scope libration, and VZK oscillation contribute to unraveling this celestial conundrum. Astrophysicists explain that libration, responsible for maintaining planets in their orbits, plays a vital role in the case of Pluto and Neptune. This term means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned roughly 90 degrees away from Neptune, effectively preventing potential collisions. Scope libration, referring to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit, ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other giant planets, it is positioned entirely above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of protection against collisions. A critical factor in understanding celestial motion, VZK oscillation, named after scientists Von Zippel, Lilly, and Kai, who studied the gravitational interactions between three space objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, explains why Pluto's orbit around the Sun appears erratic yet remains stable over time. Despite the apparent randomness in space, underlying patterns and rules keep everything in order. These factors generally stabilize Pluto's orbit, preventing collisions with Neptune or deviations from its path. The three-body problem helps us understand how the gravitational forces of these space objects influence their trajectories. Examining this enhances our understanding of Pluto, our solar system, and distant celestial bodies. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite its tumultuous properties, Pluto's orbit is stable. Minor initial deviations lead to significant differences over centuries. However, Pluto's unusual orbit maintains stability over incredibly long timescales, 
keeping chaos at bay. Further simulations have improved our understanding of how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun-Neptune's orbital resonance, where it completes three orbits for every two of Pluto, contributes to stability. Jupiter's gravity also plays a crucial role, and Saturn has a smaller impact. Together, these forces ensure Pluto's safe and stable motion through space for billions of years. These dynamics are essential for maintaining order and consistency in the movements of objects in the universe. Without these elements, the solar system would be a place of greater chaos and unpredictability, potentially leading to collisions or ejections from stable orbits, impacting other celestial bodies. Understanding Pluto's orbit is crucial, particularly in discussions about a potential collision with Neptune in the future. This knowledge provides a clearer understanding of the dynamic nature of our planetary system. Pluto's case highlights how seemingly unstable orbits can achieve harmony through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. Ongoing observation and analysis of these phenomena are vital for gaining a better grasp of our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often reveals the peculiar nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit serves as a perfect example of this eccentricity. The concept of orbital chaos, illustrating the delicate dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is vividly demonstrated in Pluto's case. Indeed, even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or velocity can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Simulations have been instrumental in helping scientists understand how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematical models to replicate the gravitational interactions among Pluto and other celestial bodies, such as Neptune. By making small changes in the simulations, space experts can observe how minor variations can significantly impact Pluto's trajectory. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed fascinating insights about Pluto's orbit. Despite factors like libration and scope oscillation that contribute to its stability, Pluto's trajectory can still exhibit unpredictability. Even a slight initial difference in Pluto's position or speed can lead to drastically different outcomes over millions of years. The mathematical models used in these simulations show that Pluto's orbit remains stable due to the intricate gravitational dynamics of the solar system. One of the most critical factors is its orbital resonance with Neptune, which ensures that their paths never lead to a direct collision. For every three orbits Neptune completes around the Sun, Pluto completes two, preventing them from aligning closely enough to collide. Jupiter and Saturn also play significant roles in this cosmic balance. Jupiter's immense gravitational force exerts a stabilizing influence on Pluto's orbit, while Saturn contributes to this dynamic, albeit to a lesser extent. Together, these giant planets ensure that Pluto maintains its eccentric yet consistent trajectory through the solar system. However, the stability of Pluto's orbit doesn't mean there aren't risks. Over billions of years, even small changes in the gravitational interactions among planets can lead to variations. Scientists continue to monitor and model these changes to understand the long-term dynamics of the solar system better. The study of Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into celestial mechanics and the delicate balance that governs the movements of heavenly bodies. This knowledge is not just academic. It has practical implications for understanding potential risks to Earth from celestial collisions or disruptions. In recent years, advancements in technology and computational power have allowed scientists to create more accurate models of Pluto's orbit and its interactions with other planets. These models confirm that while Pluto's orbit is unusual, it is not chaotic. Instead, it reflects the incredible complexity and order of the solar system. The continuing observation of Pluto and its orbit helps refine our understanding of the forces that shape our planetary system. It also underscores the importance of preserving the stability of celestial mechanics, as any significant disruption could have far-reaching consequences for planets, moons, and other objects in the solar system. Pluto's story serves as a reminder of the intricacies of space and the delicate harmony that keeps everything in motion. As we continue to explore the universe, the lessons learned from Pluto's orbit will guide us in understanding the broader dynamics of celestial interactions and the ever-changing nature of the cosmos. Lead to huge changes in its way over numerous years. By the by, in spite of this intrinsic mayhem, Pluto's circle stays stable throughout seemingly forever, its outline stretching out north of billions of years. This recommends that, underneath its apparently flighty appearance, Pluto's excursion around the Sun follows a coordinated example. 
for seeing the drawn-out conduct of divine bodies, especially those with capricious circles like Pluto, is unquestionably challenging. The inborn flightiness of these frameworks makes long-term figures dubious. Mathematical reenactments help us comprehend and foresee the future paths of divine bodies, yet they additionally reveal the restrictions of our prescient capacities. These models heavily rely upon exact starting circumstances and mimic complex cooperations. Even a small blunder can prompt altogether different outcomes, making exact predictions difficult. The turbulent nature of heavenly circles, for example, Pluto's, reminds us of the ever-changing universe. While we have gained progress in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights our continued limited knowledge. Understanding the gravitational impacts of giant planets on Pluto's circle provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the planetary framework. It demonstrates how every planet's presence and position can affect the stability and paths of other bodies within the system. Regardless of these complicated forces, prominent astrophysicists are now expressing concerns about a potential crash between Pluto and Neptune. This raises questions about why such a crash, which seems unlikely given these unusual factors, is now a subject of concern. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a notable astrophysicist known for popularizing astronomy, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our planetary framework, particularly regarding Pluto. Famous for renaming Pluto as a dwarf planet rather than a genuine planet, Tyson shares thoughtful insights on how our understanding of heavenly mechanics is continuously evolving. He sees Pluto's renaming not as a downgrade, but as a significant adjustment to our growing comprehension of the diverse objects circling the Sun. His approach to heavenly mechanics involves constant learning and adaptation. He sees the complexity of circles like Pluto's as a sign of how much more there is to discover in space. Tyson believes the challenge of these questions makes astronomy so fascinating. Moreover, Tyson is aware of how space-related events and discoveries shape public interest in astronomy. He believes that events like Pluto's renaming and its unusual circle present opportunities to captivate the public's imagination and curiosity about the universe. By discussing the dynamic and sometimes unpredictable aspects of space mechanics, Tyson opens a window for the general public to ponder the wonders and mysteries of the universe. Working alongside other professionals, Tyson actively warns the public about the potential risks of Pluto's unusual circle. After extensively studying Pluto, he has raised concerns that the three-body problem could present a serious danger, suggesting that a collision with Neptune is long overdue. Furthermore, he emphasizes that such a crash could disturb the balance of the universe and lead to catastrophic consequences extending to Earth. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would be a remarkable and devastating event in our planetary system. This impact would release a massive amount of energy, potentially splitting Pluto apart due to its smaller size and icy composition. Debris from the impact could scatter across the planetary system, posing potential risks to other planets and their moons. For Neptune, such an impact might alter its orbit depending on the specifics of the crash. Michio Kaku, a renowned theoretical physicist known for his work in string theory and physics, offers another perspective on this situation. His views on the future of space exploration and the connection between divine mechanics and theoretical physics provide valuable insights into phenomena like Pluto's circle. Kaku sees the exploration of Pluto and its orbit as a glimpse into the future of space exploration. Understanding the intricate gravitational interactions and orbital dynamics of divine bodies like Pluto, according to Kaku, can provide essential lessons for future space missions. This knowledge can support exploring the nearby planet group more effectively, predicting potential dangers, and planning missions to the outer regions of our planetary system and beyond. Kaku emphasizes that the lessons learned from studying Pluto's circle can be applied to exploring other divine bodies offering a roadmap for approaching and understanding distant worlds. While discussing the physics of planetary systems, Kaku often highlights the profound connection between heavenly mechanics and theoretical physics. He believes that the movements and interactions of planets, like the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are not isolated events but are tied to fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, particularly in string theory, aims to understand these principles at the most fundamental level. He suggests that studying the complexities of heavenly mechanics, such as Pluto's circle, could offer insights into the underlying laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku has also addressed the potential collision, relating it to his theories about the universe. If Pluto and Neptune were to collide, it would be a monumental event in cosmology, 
offering a unique observational opportunity that could contribute to our understanding of string theory. String theory, a theoretical framework that replaces point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, seeks to describe the fundamental forces in the universe. An impact of such magnitude in the planetary system could generate extreme conditions of energy and gravity, providing insights into the behavior of fundamental particles and forces under extreme circumstances.